Contact Bio started uh, eight years ago from a very small company. During the last two years, we are already a public company in the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. Here, it's where everything begins. Our methodology, we developed a, a platform to check genes from nature. So we can take many genes from any source in nature, from any ecological niches, and bring them here to the lab. And here in the lab, the, the researchers, uh, like you see here, they are taking the samples and producing millions of genes together, like a soup of genes, okay? We call it gene pool. So they are making a gene pool. So we bring the samples here. The researchers, we have uh, many PhDs and uh, master degree people. Um, they are taking the samples, producing genes. The gene pools are put inside special bacteria and the bacteria we will be used to insert practically the genes into the plants. For example, if we are looking for genes that will increase the drought resistance in, in the plants, we are taking samples from soils in the desert, for example. In Israel, it's a lot of desert. So we're taking samples from the desert, bringing them here, making a gene pools from the desert. And essentially, we will take these genes that some of them have drought resistance solutions, we'll take it to the plants and then we'll check it in the plants. So this is the idea of how we work. This is the room where we're doing the tissue culture for the soybean. Uh, we are taking our most important, interesting genes and we are inserting the genes to be expressed in soybean. So what you see here is uh, Ayala is working on uh, soybean seeds. This is how it starts. She takes the, the seeds, she is taking eventually the embryo out of the seed and will start a process that will transform the gene into the, into the plants. I will show you here. Um, you see here uh, soybean plants starting to grow with, uh, with our gene inside. Only a few will grow here with the gene because uh, we put selection here. The plants start growing like that here and then when they grow more we put them in these boxes until they grow and they make roots and when they make roots we take them to the greenhouse. This is Chin Chin. She's the most senior employee of the company. This is already a screen, an experiment that we are doing. It's a new screen that we are doing to select plants that have better use of nitrogen. One of the needs of agriculture is to reduce the amount of fertilizer because fertilizer eventually go to the environment and they are polluting uh, the water and the environment, the soils. And one of the most important fertilizer is nitrogen. So we are trying to find genes that will improve the use of nitrogen. We call it nitrogen use efficiency. We did the same for drought. We grew millions of plants with millions of genes that were taken from the desert and we didn't irrigate. We dried the plants and we looked which one is surviving the most. And then we chose this plant. Eventually, some of the genes we selected near the Dead Sea in Israel, in the desert near the Dead Sea, are already performing beautiful in corn which is amazing because they came from a fungus that is in the desert, in the soil of the desert. And today, Indian seed company that is collaborating with us put it in corn and they have drought resistant corn with a, one gene of one fungus. So it's amazing. We already found genes that can improve the drought resistance up to 250% more, which is really something I think we are the first one in the world to, to have such a big significance, especially on corn. This is how we select the positive plants. 
with the genes. We're sowing a lot of seeds here and they are germinating and only the plants that have the new gene inside, they will grow. The other plants will die. We're putting a selectable marker in the plants and when we are spraying, all the plants will die except the ones with the new genes. So this is how we select the transgenic plants. Vine originalmente para hacer una pasantía en un programa que se llama Masá, que ofrece estas pasantías para profesionales. Eh, me dieron la oportunidad de quedarme, así que, o sea, hoy es mi último día como pasante en realidad. A partir de la semana que viene voy a ser empleado en esta empresa, así que me voy a quedar. Siento que la investigación en Israel hay una cultura mucho de cuestionar, no es una cosa muy jerárquica. Todos hablamos en las reuniones, cada uno tira una idea. Eh, las ideas van bien en todo, muy respetuoso, pero hay mucho intercambio y además el ritmo es muy rápido. Alguien tiene una idea, te dicen, bueno, ponete a investigarla, fíjate que sale. Hay mucho de arriesgarse, que siento que eso es muy bueno, muy conducente para las empresas de tecnología. Creo que hay ahora hay una fase muy de expansión, hay muchos proyectos nuevos. Una cosa que la empresa avanzó muchísimo es en sequía, que obviamente para el tema de Argentina es absolutamente importante en los años que viene por el cambio climático, va a ser cada vez más importante ese área, no solo para Argentina, sino para todo el mundo. So let's go over here and I will explain to you about the RNAi technology. RNAi is molecules of RNA that we use to protect against uh, pathogens or against insects that are very harmful to the to the crops. So we have a collaboration with an Israeli company called Gadot, uh, Gadot Agro, where we are trying to battle to combat an uh, insect that is killing the, the palms. In Israel, the dates are very important, very important crop, a very big uh, export for Israel. But we have a problem today that there is an insect that uh, is killing the, these palms because the larvae are penetrating into the trunk and eating it from the inside. So we are developing a technology of RNA that we inject into the trunk of the trees and when the larvae of the insect will eat the tree, they will die. You can see here where we, uh, this thing, we open it we put a few drops of RNA inside, it goes in, into the tree and it will protect the tree. It will affect something in a very specific development stage of the plant. And then after 10 days, it's gone, completely gone. It will just increase yield. So you see here a uh, Majul trees that are being used for the experiment uh, with the RNAi to protect the red palm weevil. This is the name of the insect. This is the next green revolution. This technology of RNAi is the next green revolution. We started to do collaborations with many international seed companies. We have collaboration with the Argentinian company Biosiris, also on drought resistance for alfalfa. I believe that uh, some of our solutions will eventually come to, to be commercial, to help the farmers grow better. All the uh, community in the world should try to bring better or more food security to the world. And it's very important and I believe in it and I hope uh, I will live to see the results.